Welcome back to Stardom Cinema, where we take a look at week four. Look at quarterbacks. We're looking at quarterbacks. And we're going to see who we should and should not start. And before that, what's crack a -lack? It's your boy, Bro Schmo, just in case you did not know. So go ahead, give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. And go ahead and subscribe. Become a bro and subscribe. I'm constantly pushing out content just for you guys. And uh, show me a little appreciation with that nice thumbs up button. But let's go ahead. Let's start off with the Thursday night game. We got Philly versus Green Bay. Ought to be a really good matchup. I got Aaron Rodgers as a start. I know he kind of goes into a game manager role once they're up by like two scores. But considering what you probably spent on him, a fifth or a sixth round pick, you're probably going to have to start him regardless. So he is a start this week. And they're facing the 25th worst team against the quarterback. As for Carson Wentz, I have him in the cinema column. He hasn't looked too good these last few weeks, and he's facing the Packers, who are third best against the quarterback, so he is a sit. Next on the list is Miami versus the Chargers. Honestly, you know, same verse, same as the first. I keep saying it, don't start the Dolphins players. You shouldn't hear. Rosen, Fitzpatrick, I don't care who it is, you don't start them. As for the as for the guy facing the Dolphins, they are probably going to be a start from here on out. I got Rivers as a start. Titans versus the Falcons. Matt Ryan is a start. I don't care how many interceptions he's throwing up. He's throwing up touchdowns as well. I think he has six interceptions on the year, but he also has eight touchdowns. Got It's a tough matchup against Tennessee. They are the 10th uh, best when it comes to allowing points uh, or not giving up points to the quarterback. But Matt Ryan, the offense is through them. They can't run the ball. So, the, yeah. Go ahead, start your Matt Ryan. Marcus Mariota, though, he's always a mixed bag of tricks. I want no part of it. He's on the bench. Uh, and he sh honestly shouldn't be on your roster. We head over to Buffalo where the Bills will take on the Patriots. This ought to be, I mean, battle of the undefeated. This ought to be a pretty interesting matchup. And unfortunately, I got Josh Allen, who I love so much right now. I love Josh Allen. I have him as a sit. Uh, if you feel like you, sh you can start him, go ahead and do it. Just I'm not comfortable starting Josh Allen against that Patriot defense. They are currently first when it comes to points uh, allowed, when it comes to the quarterback. But Tom Brady, that offense is a juggernaut. I know the Bills, they're currently fifth when it comes to that. But Tom Brady just doesn't look like he can be stopped currently. Chiefs versus the Lions, and if you have ha three, two, one. Chiefs versus the Lions, and if you have Patrick Mahomes, you start in Patrick Mahomes. That's just, it is what it is. You might even start him on your bye week if you want to. But Matthew Stafford, a little tougher of a decision because he's got a pretty decent matchup here against KC in their secondary. But the last couple of weeks, he hasn't really, he hasn't really produced, not since that Arizona game in week one. He had only 20 points against the Chargers in half PPR leagues and 15 last week against Philly. So I feel comfortable, more comfortable starting someone else. But I don't blame you if you do want to start Stafford. I just think there's better starts. Raiders versus the Colts. And I have both quarterbacks as a start this week. Brissett has really come out and just he is lit, lit a fire under this Colts team after losing Andrew Luck. And they look really good. Borderline unstoppable at this point. Uh, and I really like how Brissett is playing. As for Derek Carr, I have him as a start. And last week was his first multi-touchdown game since week four of la or week 14 of last season. So that's looking good. And this was an indie defense that gave up three touchdowns last week. So if 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 the Raiders want to stay in this game, Carr is gonna have to throw. So and I hate to say it, but yes, I think Derek Carr is a better start this week than Josh Allen. Redskins versus the Giants and Daniel Jones, man, he just lit the world on fire last week. And this matchup should be a lot easier for him. I mean, granted, he's without Barkley, but the Redskins are 28th when it comes to allowing points to the quarterback. So he should have easy pickings here. And you would think the same would be for Case Keenum. I mean, it should be because the Giants are 29th when it comes to allowing points to the quarterback. But I think borderline Case Keenum is on the verge of loose, losing that starting job to Dwayne Haskins. I know they have New England looming, so they might not necessarily 
throw Dwayne Haskins into the fire just yet, but I just don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable because I, I, I feel like Keenan could lose his job at any moment. I don't want him on my roster. But hey, Jones, I mean, he should produce. This team made Mitch Trubisky look like a franchise quarterback. <laughs> Browns versus the Ravens, and I got Lamar Jackson as a start, even in his worst passing game yet this year against the Chiefs. He still managed to put up big points, and that's because he is the best running quarterback currently in the league. So go ahead and start him. But I have Baker Mayfield as a sit. And you might be that might be a surprise. But I don't think it really is because his highest scoring game this year was against a Jet secondary that just looks very defeated. I mean, and he scored 19 points in PPR or half PPR leagues. And I mean, I love Baker Mayfield, but it just doesn't look the doesn't look like the offense is just banging on all cylinders right now. Honestly, the only real reliability on that offense is the run game. So, I'm sorry, Baker. And it's a tough matchup as well. The Ravens are 14th against quarterbacks. So, you sit this week, my man. Panthers versus the Texans. And Deshaun Watson, he is a start. You probably spent a fifth-round pick on him. He's a start. It is a tough matchup. Panthers, they are six when it comes to, to giving up points to the quarterback. But I think that he will he will overcome that, and he will be a good start this week. Kyle Allen, though, coming out of nowhere, second year player, uh, and just romping that Arizona secondary, which has just looked really bad. Patrick Peterson, please come back. But it looked really bad, and he's got an easy one this week too with Houston. They've given uh, their 26 when it comes to giving up court, uh, points to the quarterback. And honestly, if the Panthers want to stay in this game, it could be a shootout. So he's got a good matchup, and I think he's going to be forced to throw the ball because, hey, man, a Texan run defense is actually pretty good. So they might hold McCaffrey as far as running the football in check. Buccaneers versus the Rams. Jared Goff, you are a start. You're facing the 24th worst defense when it comes to quarterback scoring on him go ahead and get yours boy and Jameis Winston man he's looked good last couple of weeks but he's facing the second best team when it comes to allowing points to the quarterback Wade Phillips man has that defense looking good and you know Jameis Winston we've, we've talked about it you know his highs are high and his lows are very low and I have a feeling that this game will be a low Arizona versus Seattle. Seattle is actually the away team in this. I kind of goofed it at the bottom. Big whoop, but Russell Wilson is a start. Arizona, just that defense gives up points to anybody that plays quarterback. Just ask Kyle Allen. And Kyler Murray, if they want to stay in this game, he has to play well. Seattle, they are currently 13th when it comes to allowing points to the quarterback. But it was good to see him. He actually utilized his feet last week. So if they're going to stay in this game, he's going to have to do it again. Vikings versus the Bears. Neither quarterback is a start for me this week. Kirk Cousins just hasn't looked that good. This team, oh, basically they're built around Dalvin Cook and the run game. So, and I mean, I know there's some Stefan Diggs fans out there, some owners out there that are very disappointed with uh, his output and they just don't pass the ball enough. So Kirk Cousins, you're a sit. Mitch Trubisky, man. Uh, this dude, he may have looked really good, but that was against Washington. This defense won't allow that. They are 12th against, or they're, yeah, they're 12th against um, opposing quarterbacks. And, I mean, look at his other games. He's in half PPR leagues. He scored 12. He scored 6. He hasn't scored a lot. He hasn't been running the football. He's, I don't know what it is. And it's like something with that shoulder injury in the uh, past where now he's afraid to run because he doesn't want to get hurt. But, he, he he just doesn't have good upside this week and most weeks. <laughs> Jacksonville versus Denver. Very interesting matchup. Joe Flacco is a sit. He's been a so-so quarterback this year. He's been a so-so quarterback his whole career. And he's facing the 16th best defense when it comes to allowing points to the quarterback. Gardner Minshew, though, he's got a tough matchup. This Denver defense is, is right now fourth in allowing points to the quarterback but they've yet 
to have a turnover. They've yet to ha really get a sack. They don't have a sack from Chubb or um, Von Miller, which is wild. So they don't really get after the quarterback. They've just been playing. I don't want to say they've been playing very good coverage, but really the only person they've faced on, on their schedule of substance is Aaron Rodgers, and he hasn't really looked like Aaron Rodgers. But yeah, and... Gardner Minshew, he scored at least in half PPR leagues, he scored at least 20 points every game. And I think he's going to go out and do the same. This is this is a personal opinion. I'm high on the man, the myth, the legend that is Gardner Minshew. If you don't want to do that, hey man, I get it. It happens. There, there's probably better starts out there. But for me, he's a start. The Saints versus the Cowboys ought to be a fun game, be a lot funner if Drew Brees was there. But... What can you do about it? Dak has been on fire, and he's facing the worst defense when it comes to allowing points to the quarterback. Favorable matchup here, especially with no breeze. I don't think it's going to be so much the shootout it could have been. But Teddy Bridgewater, I have you as a sit, my dude. Um, he's facing a very tough secondary there in Dallas. They're seventh best when it comes to allowing points to the quarterback, as well as this past week, he didn't, uh, he didn't have a pass attempt over 15 yards. He had one. Excuse me. Retract that statement. He had one pass attempt over 15 yards. So uh, they were really just using Teddy in kind of a game manager role. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot better starts out there. So don't do it. Don't do it to yourself, my man. And finally, the Monday night game, Cincinnati versus Pittsburgh. And based on how these defenses are, it should be a good game for both quarterbacks. Cincinnati, they're 20th in allowing uh, in allowing points to the quarterback. Pittsburgh's 26. However, I have only Andy Dalton as the start. He's attempted at least 36 pass attempts in every game this year, so there's a lot of plus in that. And I think they're gonna. I, I, there's a good chance that Cincinnati might win this game, but I like Dalton better in this matchup than Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph had only two passes over 20 yards. They both coincidentally went for touchdowns, but uh, he didn't look that good. He didn't look that good. He he didn't play that well as f when it comes to fantasy. So he's a sit in a favorable matchup. He's a sit. He's a sit. He's a sit. That's it for the video. Hopefully I was able to help you out with some tough decisions you're going to have to make this week. And may the fantasy gods be with you. But until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.